for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome. In this video on Dreamweaver CS5, we're going to see how to put a table of information onto a page. You can see here I'm in the default document that I created for the contact information in our new website. And I want to place a table here that's going to allow me to put my contact information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the insert menu and I'm going to go ahead and select table. When I do that, the dialog box that appears is going to ask me how many rows and how many columns, as well as the table width, the border thickness, the padding, and the spacing. In this case, I'm going to want three rows, but only two columns. I'm also going to make the table width a little bit larger here. I'm going to say the whole table is going to be 400 pixels. The border thickness, I'm going to make zero. I'm also going to make padding and spacing zero. We'll see how those work in just a little bit. The caption for my table, I'm going to go ahead and type contact information. And under summary, I'm going to go ahead and type table of information on contacting us. I'll then click OK. And the table will be created and placed on your page. And you're going to see that the caption is placed up there at the top. So here I'm going to go ahead and click on my left hand column and I'm going to go ahead and type address. And then I'm going to go ahead and type phone in the next cell down and then email. And then I'll click here under address. I'm going to type 1234 Main Street. And you're going to see the column is kind of small there. Los Angeles. California 90022. Now when I click down into another cell, you're probably going to see that that column snaps back over. Under phone, I'm going to go ahead and enter in a phone number here. Just a fictitious phone number. And we'll say that's the office phone. And then I'll go ahead and type in another phone number there. And we'll say that's our fax. You're also going to notice by default Dreamweaver is double spacing your different lines here when you hit return. And that's actually a function of the browser, not actually a function of Dreamweaver. You can control that with formatting in CSS. And then finally under email, I'm going to go ahead and type in an email address. and now I have a table of information. Now, there were a couple of settings that I wanted to look at when we created this table. And they are the padding and the spacing options. What I want you to remember is that padding is placed on the inside of a cell and spacing is placed on the outside of a cell. Now sometimes this doesn't matter. Like in this case, it doesn't really matter whether we use padding or spacing here. But when you're using tables for other things, especially if you're going to format them with colors and uh, different background images, padding and spacing will become important to you. In our course on tables in uh, Dreamweaver CS5, we'll go into more detail about that. But for right now, I want to clean up the spacing on this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to the right of the word street here and then just press delete. That gets rid of that return. And instead of hitting return, which will double space it, I'm going to hold down the shift key and press return. And what that will do is it will put a line break in instead of a paragraph mark. And you can see it won't double space it now. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to go to the right of the word office, hit delete once, and then shift return. 
hold down the shift key, and then press return. There we go. Now, back to padding and spacing. I'm going to go ahead and select my table. When I do that, you're going to see a bold outline appears all the way around the table. That's very different from selecting the cells in the table. For example, I could highlight those cells, and I still wouldn't have the whole table selected. So what I need to do is, again, click in the lower right-hand corner to select the entire table. You're going to see the properties for your table are listed here, including padding and spacing. Well, for right now, I'm going to say I want 10 pixels, and pixels is the default, so you don't have to put anything in there. I'm going to say I want 10 pixels of spacing on this table, and then I'm going to press Enter. And you'll see how the different cells have now been spaced apart on your table. So that's a simple way to use a table to format and lay out information on your web page. For more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com.